Boisterous fans cheer their teams, but the battle isn't on the pitch, it's in the kitchen. 24 of the world's most promising chefs sweat it out for the prestigious Bocuse d'Or prize, a contest which is as famous for its refined cooking as for its raucous atmosphere. I look at this like a sporting event, and all of these chefs are part of a team. They have preparation, they have coaches, they have performing. It's the Culinary Olympics. When you're in the kitchen, it's uh, nicer if it's a loud, lot of noise around you instead of it's silence. It's really bad, so this is uh, perfect for the candidates. The heat is on as finalists race to make a traditional French chicken dish in just a few hours. Details are crucial, timing everything with chefs putting the finishing touches on what they hope will be the winning creation. Well, this is really the moment of truth and what the judges there are looking for is perfect presentation, taste and texture. And for all of those involved, the chef's cooking is a nerve-wracking moment. Joël Robuchon is one of the world's most famous chefs. He says picking the best dish is a mixture of experience and instinct. When you see the dish, you already know 80%. You can tell if it's been well made. After that, it's about the small details. Then, of course, it's about the taste. It's important, but usually you can just tell when you see it. In the end, it was American Matthew Peters' night. A prestigious award and international recognition. He hopes a recipe for success. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Lyon.